All right, everyone, and welcome. So this is episode three. Um, basically, the last episode we built this farm here, and we got a couple quests done, so we we're able to get our first set of beads, which is for this this quest here. There we go, and we're just gonna grab all this right here, so we can finish that quest. Forest drone. Claim. Sweet. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna just throw these back in there. Right there and right there. Just so we can get that going. So, basically, next step is to get this. This is just talking about the centrifuge. Hmm. All right. So this will award us a centrifuge, uh, a squeezer actually. Also, you'll notice I stand. I expanded this platform inside to see, so this tree wasn't conflicting with anything. I thought it was uh, appropriate. Now let's see. Where do I want to put this? Let's just make a little row right here. I'll put the engine right here. So how this works is you just right-click it. I'm gonna go to here. Now that's gonna start generating power. This can accept 800 RF a tick. All right, we got 100 drop. Also, this thing's been running because I've I've been AFKing for around eight hours while I was at work. The creeper blew up over here, so I had to make some more slabs, which wasn't great. So I gotta be more careful then. Wow, we already got another one. Sweet. Alright. I mean let's go murder some of these guys over here. Actually, I got an idea. So basically they were able to see me. So what if I did something like this? Grab this. Ooh, it's kind of laggy over here, isn't it? Oh, it's like right here. Yeah, that'd be good. We can do something like that. So we can do it some uh, jumping. I was thinking about how I could get dirt. We have to get a dirty bee for this. Which we get from Rocky and any other bee basically. But unfortunately I'm not, I don't, I'm, I can't get Rocky just yet. So that's gonna hold off. I'm sure the quest book will give us one at some point. That's really loud. Let's turn that to here. Ooh. Yeah, I think this will be better. Ooh, an Enderman. There we 
go. Ideally, I would want to get rid of all the creepers first so that I can't blow this up again. Alright. Oh, there's just a couple more. don't. Alright. Ow. Yeah, you die, man. You die. You don't deserve to live just because you did that. You're dead to me. Quite literally. Alright, that yielded a good amount of drops. Yeah, he's right here. Oh, what a waste of time. He didn't give me anything. That is tragic. Got some more skulls and stuff. Let's crank this thing up again. This thing could be a little better. But, you know, it's just a tier one type of thing. Ow! That hurt. That hurt really bad. Also, I noticed on, was it Pizza Taurus? Woo, more opened. <laughs> I like how they have the peas here. Alright. So for this one, this just talks about the territories in temperature and humidity, etc, etc. So that that's free. Ooh, that's opening up soon. Bee tutorials, forestry. So I need four honey drops and six beeswax. So we're getting closer. Let's see. Yeah, we're it might be a minute. Huh. Ooh. Ooh. That hurt really bad. That hurt really, really bad. Let's break that. Get our stuff back. I gotta be careful with this. I don't think that I have limited lives at all. In fact, I think I have unlimited lives. Get that to red again. That's what I want. Five and five. Maybe I'll get another honeycomb with this one. I'd like to find out what these slots up here are for. I think that's for my Beelizer. Get this red again. Um, more oh, mobs are already spawning. Wow. I should be good for a little bit of a sleep soon. Alright, perfect. That completed this quest here. We're gonna get a squeezer and a clock, another clockwork engine. Power, clockwork engine, blah, blah, blah. Ooh. <laughs> beginning steps. I never realized that I said beginning steps. That's funny. Uh, what 
what's this quest? Secondary stats. The urinal means the bee will work in the daylight. There are very few bees that sleep during the day. One of them being the thief bee from Career Bees. Nocturnal means the bee will work at night. Well, work at night time. Most bees are not nocturnal, but will require you to either wait out the night or sleep. When a bee is not working, their life cycle pauses. Tolerant flyer means that the bee can work in the rain or snow. That's useful, actually. I'm gonna have to look at that. While rare rain can be more devastating to you during the daytime because you can't just sleep to get rid of it. You'll either need to wait until night to sleep or just tough it out. Most of the underground variety of bees will work during the rain. Cave dwelling means the bee does not require access to sunlight. If a bee is not a cave dweller, then all blocks directly above the hive need to be removed or changed into glass. Most, if not all, underground and nether bees, nether variety of bees, are cave dwellers. Let's check that. Tolerance. Humidity and tolerance. Tolerance of well, be you can adjust the climate. That is not their favorite. This is the number of scale range from negative 5 to positive 12, 5 for both stats and can work both ways for some bees. If a bee has normal normal for their temperature and humidity and up one for temperature tolerance and down one for humidity tolerance, the bee can work in normal and warm temperature climates and normal and arid climates. A bee that has both one in temperature tolerance up and down in humidity time can work in cold, normal, and warm temperature climates. The damp climates, while there is six temperature climates, there are only three humidity climates. Having more than both two in humidity tolerance, example using an acclimizer, 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 is wasteful. I forgot about that bug actually. Temperature climates, icy cold, normal warm, hell hottish, hot hellish I mean, hell acts as hot for the purposes of temperature. This is simply an indication that the bee uses the nether biome. <laughs> Humidity climates, arid, normal, damp. Alright. Ooh. Uh, let's read this. Lifespan is how long a queen will live. Each lifespan has a set amount of cycles. And each cycle is 27 and a half seconds long. A normal lifespan will last 40 cycles or 18 minutes. Alright, so day and night. Which is really just two days. Nine hours, nine hours each day. 20 seconds, whereas a shorter lifespan will last only 20 cycles or 9 minutes, 10 seconds. Once each cycle is over with, the queen will produce their product based on the product's percentage chance. For example, if the queen will produce a honeycomb at a 40% chance, then every 27 and a half seconds, there will be a 40% chance to get a honeycomb. When the life cycle is over with the queen, when the life cycle is over with, the queen will die and will produce one princess and a number of drones. Determined by the fertility rating, most queens will produce two drones, but there are some that produce up to four, and even some that only produce a single drone. Speed is a bit of a misnomer. It doesn't actually speed up anything, rather, it gives a bonus or penalty to the percentage chance of production. A speed rating of normal gives no bonus or penalty while a faster rating gives a 40% increased chance and a slow rating gives a negative 20% penalty. Bees with short or worse lifespans are best for breeding up a lot of drones, while bees with fast or better lifespans are best for producing goods. The winter bee is extremely good at producing spare drones, having a four fertility and a short lifespan. 
Similarly, the Doctrinal Doctoral B has a normal speed but longest lifespan, making it a good, good workhorse. So eventually, I'd want to get that genetic from it and put on all my my bees for production. And let's just claim that. This can be useful later, or refer back to this, of course. Active versus non-active. When you put a bee into a portable analyzer, you will notice two columns. The first column are the active traits. These are the traits that the, the queen, princess, or drone currently uses. The inactive traits have no effect on the bee except during crossbreeding. Purebred pure bees are bees in which both active and inactive columns are the same. If a princess has a different trait or either the, the active or inactive column, then only the active column will be used when the process turns to a queen. The stats of uh, the stats of drone will not matter except for the purposes of crossbreeding when the queen dies off. For example, a meadows princess with slow speed as the active trait and a fast speed as an inactive breeds with a rocky drone with normal speed as a purebred trait will produce a Meadows Queen that uses only a slow speed trait when working. Okay, so it's basic genetics. But then the Queen dies off. The resulting princess and drones may mutate into any of the three speeds in either active or inactive slots and could potentially result in a Meadows B with a Rocky inactive or even a purebred Rocky. When crossbreeding, there is an equal chance of the resulting bee will a chance the resulting bee will inherit traits from the active and inactive columns. From the parents, a princess with fast slash slow and a drone with slowest speed will have a 25% chance of passing on any of these four onto their children. A fast slash fast and a slow slash normal will have a 50% chance. A passing on a fast trait in either the inactive or active column and 25% for both slow and normal traits this check is made for all children resulting in a lot of mixed breed cluster clutter if you are crossbreeding with a lot of different traits together it takes a lot of patience and breeding to get a purebred bee with the traits you want you can't selectively choose which traits will be put onto B yet. All the information put above is based on if the B has dominant genes. Please refer to the dominant versus recessive quest text on how these affect active and inactive trait selection. Uh, When looking at a bee with a portable analyzer, you may notice that some traits are red and some traits are blue. Red are the dominant genes, while the blue are the recessive. Dominant genes will, will more likely be chosen when breeding over recessive genes. The better traits are more likely to be recessive, making breeding them into a new bee without special help from machines is a trial. In real life, we have a Punnett square. Let's use a Punnett square with a fast recessive trait and a slow dominant for an example. If all the traits were dominant or all were recessive, then there would be a 25% chance of a purebred. Slow, slow, and a 50% chance of a mixed slow, fast, and a 25% chance of a purebred fast, fast, but because dominant genes are well dominant, they will be chosen over recessive genes in the above example you're looking at a 75% chance of a slow slow and only a 25% chance of a fast fast all right let's check this mark all right this is done for now let's the portable analyzer oh it gives me one the portable analyzer is the most important tool for a budding apiarist. 
the most important tool a budding apiarist can have when powered by a honey drops or honeydew the analyzer will tell you the exact stats of a bee you can open the analyzer's ui by right clicking with it in a hand by placing honey drops or honeydew in the upper right slot and a bee queen princess or drone in the slot below it the bee will be analyzed and placed in the, the eye slot the one slot is Roman numerals. The one slot will tell you the primary stats of B, the two slot will tell you the biome requirements and the secondary stats. The three slot three tells you the possible produce produce and the specialty produce. The four tells you if the B can be further mutated and will keep track of what bees you have already analyzed. Question marks represent combinations that have not been discovered yet. The bee is simply lore and fluff. Analyzing a bee will also give a detailed tooltip information when you're holding down shift while hovering over the bee. Note, however, that analyzing the bee will make it stackable only with other bees of the same type that have been analyzed too. Alright, it's going to give me an analyzer and honey drops. Oh, okay, so it's one honey drop. That's useful. A squeezer, honey capsule. Now that you have a ready source of honey drops and beeswax, you will need something to do with them. That's where the squeezer comes into play. By powering a squeezer and placing either honey drops or honeydew inside, you will produce liquid honey. Sometimes, sometimes, 5% chance a propolis will be produced as well. These will be used later for making certain items. Seed oil can be used to produce, can be produced by placing a variety of seeds or nuts and some fruits inside a squeezer. By placing three bees wax in line and a cup, they will create wax capsules. These are stackable one-use buckets that can hold non-heated liquids such as honey or water. They will not be able to hold lava. For that, you will need a special type of wax. You will only need one honey wax capsule, 10 honey drops in the squeezer to complete this quest, but you will need seed oil for the next quest. Use the cherry tree sapling provided by the quest reward to get the cherries you need to squeeze for seed oil. If there is tiny a tiny bit of oil left in the squeezer after you get your honey wax cap, so you can break the machine with a pickaxe. This will clear a tank out and make room for the seed oil. All right, so we need a honey capsule. All right, that was a lot of reading. Let's try not to do that anytime soon. It's red so let's put this much in there while that's processing let's make a capsule or a set of capsules rather all right we'll just let that go how are these doing sweet we got some more honey Oh, okay, so this is opened. So that, what? What's this? So that's basically a... Let's just see. Put one honey in there. Okay, now that opens all this. That's neat. I like that. Do you know what I mean again? 
So it's just temporary, so that's kind of a waste. Huh. I'd like to look at this for a little more than five seconds, honestly. Oops, let's not do that. Short lifespan, shorter lifespan, I mean. Slow production. They want flowers that will make two drones. Their territory is average and they have the zero effect. Normal, 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 normal. The urinal. Let's see, what does that mean again? in the daylight. Alright, so yeah, it's just saying that it only works during the day. Lots of different crossbreeds. This is just the things. Nothing too special. Let's throw that in there. Let's close that. We just got another one of these, which we'll throw in here. Let me just crank these up again. <laughs> All right. Ooh, we got a propolis. That's sweet. All right. Let's see, so we got this one, the squeeze request. Let's claim that. So I gave us a cherry sapling. Let's see. A squeezer produces half a bucket. No, half of, uh, no, a twentieth of the bucket. So we need 20 cherries for that. Actually, no. This cherry right here makes 150, so. Let's see. Um, about seven or eight of those, I think. Ambrosia. That stuff's good. Alright. So we just got a carpenter. gonna move this squeezer to here or the centrifuge rather I'm pretty sure this can automatically output but I'm not 100% sure let's see supposed to plant the cherry sapling. Let's plant it right here. Let's actually make some bone meal though, since we have all these wonderful bones being saved up here. We'll just use that. That way we have, well, seven cherries, not bad. I mean, it's not impressive, but could be better, whatever. We'll throw these in our squeezer. That 
is not output. Shoot. Uh, that's just about infinite water. So how do I get a? Oh, we got a bucket. Okay. Was I given? Oh, I was given two. Okay. Okay, that's fair. So this is about getting. Okay, so we're gonna be getting our bees from the quests. All right, that's pretty easy. sort of thing here. Just gonna get that down a little. Here, 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 and here. All right. That gives us the infinite water source. Detect. Sweet. Now we have a water queen. And we got a lily pad, which is the water flower. Let's sleep. There's no apples on the street anymore. I mean, there should be. Sleep so is about to die out again. We don't have anything for bee house. But I suppose that's fine. Squeezer. So we got one bucket. Seed oil. So let's see. What do I need for an emperor? Pregnated frame. We need 250, so we can actually get four apiaries from this. So, and how do I get a pipette though? Glass. I don't have access to glass yet. Actually, we have these lovely capsules, which we can fill with seed oil. We're going to lose the wax, of course, but we'll have this. So with that, we can take this wood here, and we can make the recipe, which is the same as always, I'm sure. Perfect. There we go. Now that's going to start making those. We got one of those going. I'm just gonna take uh, like half of this. So we can start. So we can get our apiary. Perfect, we got an apiary now. 
Nice. I'm not sure which which color, which texture I like better. Huh. So I'll use this one to start crossbreeding. Let's get one more. Sweet. Enough power right now. <laughs> Let's not kill ourselves again on accident. All right. Apiary. Oh, it wants me to make four of them. I'm guessing this bookshelf is going to be used for like the. Marketplace. Bias hunt. Right? Bees use honey as a food source. You, however, need something more substantial. Honey capsule. Let's throw this in the squeezer. Actually, we need to break the block first. So it says to use 10 for that, so he gets 100 each. I'm just gonna make more capsules, cause that's the best use for them. Let's take this one, we'll use this too. It's producing it pretty fast. <laughs> All right, two more drops, then we'll have one more capsule for this quest. Sweet, we got a honey capsule. Alright, now we have those seeds right there. And that quest is basically gone. A moistener. I wonder what I can do with that. Maybe I can make dirt. Watery propolis. So I get, I only get that from the the water bees. Um. Anyways, so I'm gonna have to wrap the episode here though, because we're getting sort of long. We're a little past the wrapping up point, as I shoot for thirty minutes. So, anyways, thank you all for watching. Wow, I just noticed we got a sheep here. That's pretty sweet. Anyways, so thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, and have a good one. Take care.